If you ever get asked to cook at somebody's house, make sure you make a mess. Like, just food everywhere. You'll never have to cook again. Really? A nice mahi? Yeah, baby! Yes! Yeah! When I woke up this morning, my beautiful subscribers, you guys are the first ones I thought about when I saw this beautiful weather because it's been blowing for weeks. In fact, it's been blowing for months. And it looks like we finally have a nice, calm, beautiful day. Time to make some fishing content. Now, the start of every good fishing trip usually consists of me spending a ton of money on fuel. So I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Cause I wanna run out far today. I wanna go way offshore, maybe even all the way out to the Isla Mirada humps. But the boat, well, it's looking good, it's clean. Just need some gas and we'll be ready to go. Uh, you could see a, a kingfish carcass down there. That was from our last video. That was a pretty fun video. And we are going to be joined by Captain Dan and Sammy. Should be a good time. Y'all are always asking me about my fuel jugs. These are VP Racing, six gallon jugs. Love them. Let's go fill them up. You know how we do it. Steak before fishing, ribeye. Mm. All right, got my camera bag. I think I just heard Sammy roll up, so you know what that means? It's showtime. Which means we'll be home next Thursday? Yeah, let's go. Double <laughs> overnighter, triple overnighter. So there's no real plan, is that what we're saying, fellas? No, the <laughs> game- following the birds. <laughs> what birds? Yeah. The... I haven't seen birds in, in months. Birds is the game. Well, we're gonna run past molasses towards okay. the humps. Okay. And then we're gonna look for birds okay. and weed lines towards the humps. All right. We're gonna look for anything. We okay. found that sick rip out there. Though, yeah, man. find a sick Is there sick a rip, rip out there? There was a couple be, days ago. We should've looked at satfish. It should be that. moving. You could see that, you could see that rip on satfish. And if we completely fail out there, we're gonna go back towards the Rex and troll for a wahoo. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. That's the plan. Boat right. is loaded down with some- You didn't some... say catch anything. We're we gonna catch anything? I mean, that's oh. the, what happened to that part of the plan? Where's the, where's the, we're gonna catch something? We're gonna drive around oh. all freaking day. We're just gonna burn gas. We're driving around looking for birds. You know, hey bird. Hey, bird. Right, hey, there's, there's a, bird. a bird. We're gonna keep going. Oh, you want to fish? No, 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 no. It's just birds. Fishing. What is right. what is fishing? Look, I even brought my binoculars. This is why it's so hard to fish around here. You see what I'm talking about? I go out with guys who are looking for birds. We're always on the hunt for a nice but, Tweety bird. Hey, that's kind of cute. That's nice. Yeah, these like are. Those. All right. Well, I'm putting my stock in Sammy today. That's all there is to it. Here we go. That's it. And you know what? The best part of that is. We don't catch anything, then we blame Sammy. <laughs> I, I think that's a wonderful like idea. I usually just blame we would have caught fish if it wasn't for you. I usually just blame the captain. So Mike goes. The oh, we blame the captain today. <laughs> Blaming the captain. Oh right. boy. Let's turn this puppy on and hit the road. Okay. Okay. Did you see the bonita strips? Yeah. Are they any good? Yeah, all right. All right. They'll be useful. Dan said we have to hydrate them. You better hydrate we them. We gotta let them soak up some. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to Florida Keys. And so the journey begins. The journey begins. Here we go. Will we make it back? Will we get a fish? Nobody knows. Try to try to make, try to, try to make it back. It. Just for, yeah, for the heck of it. Just see if we can. Well, <laughs> just to see if we can. We are out here in 280 feet of water. What kind of goodies have you made for us oh, back yeah, here? We got it all. We got the whole buffet. Okay. I love that. Bonita strips. Do you see that, Dan? Uh, Dan made that. <laughs> black and purple. Man. Yeah, I love the black and purple. All right, we are out here in the middle of nowhere, kind of. But the water is nice and blue. 280 feet. It's all ours. There's no birds and no weeds. Don't know where- You're painting a pessimistic view here. It doesn't feel a little pessimistic. You think there's actually a fish out here? No birds, there's no fish. There ain't nothing out here. Nice, pretty. It's pretty. It's mid-February. All right, let's start trolling. Oh, 
We also have these little feathers that we're gonna be pu putting way back out. The tuna, love the feathers. Feathers and strips and a chugger. A little bit of everything. All right, we are going into gear and I will just keep us straight. Actually, let me put us in the right direction first. We're still not totally straight, but we will be. Oh, I had another mark down at 100 feet. Yeah, this is fishy in here. It is fishy, ain't it? Very fishy. Man, that reel sounds good. Woo. All right. right so we should be. He's doing the same thing. We're, we're in the money that, shot. Working that water column. Come on. We got tuna busting around the boat. They're busting out there too. Okay. Here we go. Yep. All right. We got a mahi on the feather. Yeah. Nice Woo. Nice. Really a nice mahi. Yeah, baby. All right. How you feel, Dan? Right now. <laughs> yeah, right now. A <laughs> little bit of terror. I want to see him jump. Nice, we got him. He's nicely on the side of the boat. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a good one. Put us in more of a turn hike. All right, yeah. Get ready to reel, Dan. That That is a good one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That looked like a gaffer. I'll just keep circling until we get him right up to the boat. Wow, hit the little feather right behind the boat in the prop wash. He's getting close, huh? Come on, give us a jump, bud. Yeah, I'm just, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we're good on that side. Oh, yeah. I hope I can get a jump right at the boat. That would make me tingle. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're all about the camera angles on this boat. <laughs> That's why we lose fish all the time. All right, I see color. He's right there. Oh, here he comes. He's a, he's a feisty looking one. He's pretending to be uh, tired, but uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Yeah! Look at that, he's half blue, half green. Colors. I like it. He's multicolored. <laughs> Sorry about that. But You're good. Yeah, he's blue and white on the on the front and then yellow and green on the back. That's a pretty fish. Came out of nowhere. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Hit the feather right up against the right up against the side of the boat. Alright. Alright, no shortage of blood on this guy. That is a Damn, he is a bloody boy. Came up and nailed that little feather. Listen, that's the feather that we put in the box. I'm just saying, in the traveling tackle box. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at those colors. Yeah. That's a beauty. All right. Yeah. All right. Woo! Look at all the blood. <laughs> all right, I'll just keep, I'll just keep circling around that. Oh, I might as, I might as well take a beer out of there too while we're at it. Thank you. And you could toss this in there. Got tacos, taco, taco Tuesday. Now we need a second one. We got if we got two, then we then we got plenty of tacos, plenty of fish. Oh, I had that feeling of a mahi all day today. That was a good one. He did. He jumped right off the bat. Yeah. Hey, when you got a gaffer, it's it's a good mahi. Any gaffer mahi is a good mahi. All right, mahi on, go. mahi on. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? I'm yeah, really watching, watching enjoying myself. Yeah. Okay, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> no. You're saying yours isn't as big as Dan's? Uh, again, that's, again, that's what she said, right? That's what she said. He's a flipper. Little Mahi. Keep her though? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Coming in. Coming in, coming in hot. Woo! Nice fish. Nice fish. All right. Number two. We'll take it. Woohoo. Think we're gonna have some mahi fish tacos today. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes the the deck getting bloody again. <laughs> All right, another fish in the box. Into the box. You know, on days like today, you find a bird, it's probably got a fish under it. Because there's nothing else out here. There is a little bird flying around, trolled to it, got hooked up. One little bird. We are in 340 feet of water. All right, well, we gave it our all to get some wahoo, but... Gave it all. Instead, we just got mahi. What is... 
sad life we live. That's right. <laughs> rough. Yeah, rough life. Sad it's tough living down here. We have to eat fresh mahi. Now we go home. Can I go home? Got a reasonable hour. All let's right, go. all right, let's go. Hey, Mahi. Okay. Hello, hello. Ah. Whew. Okay. Only pro There's some bones in here though, so you might want to clean it up. All right, it's mahi taco time, and once again we have Carson slaving away in the kitchen. This guy's put me to work again. And right now he is cutting all the bloodlines. This is for Heiko's tacos. He likes the fishy fish, so we put all the bloodline in his tacos, and then we eat the clean meat. Sound good? I don't even know what to say to that. So yeah, the bloodline is that red meat. We cut that out, or Carson cut it out, leaving us with a nice clean mahi meat we're gonna blacken it up <laughs> so funny we're gonna blacken it up and put in some tacos let's go it's just some really good bullshit secret taco sauce yes don't tell anybody Right. Don't put this on your on your channel. What's in be, there? I'm gonna be mad if you put this on your channel. Yeah, mayo, sour cream, about half and half, and a bunch of hot sauce. Wow. I don't know if you guys caught that, but that was a secret hot sauce. Yeah, just definitely not put this on your channel. Yeah, definitely not putting that on the channel. Oh, we're burning butter over here. <laughs> Ow, mother. Do they beep that out stuff? That stuff yeah. out still? Yeah. It's all bleeped out. So I can swear all I want? You can say whatever you want. Hardcore, dude. I did shoulders, biceps. Wow. Say <laughs> off! Plate. Plate? Plate. If you ever get asked to cook in somebody's house, make sure you make a mess. Like, just food everywhere. You'll never have to cook again. There is quite a mess yeah. in the kitchen. This reminds me of yesterday's cooking yeah, session. Sammy's way cleaner than me. I, did you see how much sour cream was on Sammy's sweater? <laughs> we got done cooking. <laughs> All right. I was like, trying to get tan. Hit that song. Wrong side. Wrong side. Here we go. Make a taco. I need a fork. Yeah, I don't even have to do anything anymore. Car Carson does it all. All right, where, wait, where did I put my, oh, my taco's over here. All right, I made a taco. There we go. Carson made it happen. Carson's already on taco number two. I haven't even taken my first bite yet, so. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Pineapple next. Damn! What the hell? It's really good. Mmm. How is it so good? You're surprised that my tacos are good? Unbelievable. Mmm. Oh. That might be in like one of my top top tacos. Woo! All right. I'll come make a mess in your kitchen whenever, dude. All right. I don't have to do dishes. Carson made a little bit of a mess, but it's fine. He did all the work, and except 
Look what he did. Melted a bunch of plastic onto my uh, counter. <laughs>